Hi everyone, good morning. Happy New Year. 2021. Um, well, my, my theme for, for my church is a year of awakening. So um, I'm very powered up for 2021 that everything that is dead, everything that needs awakening in my life, um, it's going to see the light of day. Yeah, in 2021. So it's a long time I shared my devotion with you and I felt probably I need to feed all of us with what I've been reading so far. But there's something about David. I've, I've been reading about the book of Psalms, yeah? And there's something about David that um, it has drawn me so close to him now. In that he had a particular way of talking to God. Like every time that he's done something wrong, eh, he would just refer to God, God, this is who you are. And so based on who you are, please have pity on me. He had a funny way of getting into God's heart. And that is one thing that I'm looking forward to doing in 2021 and when i say that that's what i'm looking forward to doing in 2021 i mean so that it doesn't take me so much time to rise up when maybe i fall because as we keep walking with the lord it's a daily walk you know and you rise you fall you just keep going his grace makes us look very flawless but Charlie, we are too flawed we are crazy flawed but his grace, his love, his mercy are new every his mercies are new every morning. And so it makes us look as though oh we are on top of our game. No, no. But God, thank you. So today I read something in Psalms chapter 17, verse 4 and 5, where David was talking about God. He was the whole chapter is interesting, but this particular four and five was saying, God, I'm living according to your word. I'm living on that word. I want to keep to this trail. So please, Lord, help me. Do not let my enemies get the best of me. I want to put one foot ahead of the other. And I'm not giving up in trying to please you. And so do not let my enemies get me. This is David. I mean, in 2021, I'm very intentional about reading about people who walked with the Lord. And picking a thing or two from, from their lives and applying it to me now. So, yeah. I pray that God gives us grace to be reading about him, reading about him, Holy Spirit, God the Father, the Son, and getting to know him for ourselves. It's important, yeah? So anytime that you are in trouble, read the book of Psalms, read David, read about his prayers. Especially read chapter 17 of Psalms. You'll be blessed. I'm telling you, you will. All right? So God bless you and have a wonderful time.